so viewers friends now today we'll see uh, how we can add signatures to our gmail so this is one of the best and finest uh, finest feature which has been provided by gmail so in signatures you can keep multiple signatures based on the events or based on the audience you want to target for now uh, we'll see how you can add signatures to your gmail here we can see uh, the setting icon over here so click on the setting icon when you click on the setting icon you will see this see all settings so here in you can uh, change your density this appropriate view which you want to see for your gmail box but now we are not looking into that we are going to see how you can add signatures in your gmail so now click on see all settings when you click on see all settings you will find various tabs over here so now we will go down here see vacation responder is there here we have signature signatures here uh, for this mail i have no any signatures attached so what i will do i will create new now i will give name as regular signature okay and once i uh, write regular signature i will click on create now i have already created this regular signature here how you want your audience or the recipient should understand who has sent the way uh, persona you are carrying out to the respective recipient you can write accordingly your signature now your regular signature it, it the signature is generally used for all all the recipients whether it is official or non-official friends family whoever you want to send you can send it across so for example regards you can write my write your name as I'm writing my name. You wish to change something. So here you can do formatting. You can change font of your uh, text. You can do that. I'm making it attributed. So here you can change the text size. How you want? I want to display my name as large. You wish to change something. And here you can do uh, the text bold, italics, underlined. You can change the text color. Now I want to uh, do regards as italics, and I want to change the text color as you can say gray color. I have done it. And if you want to here, if you want to add any link to your signature, or if you want to add, for example, visit my site. Just uh, change the font size because this doesn't look good. So visit my site. Just do this. Uh, I will take my site. I will add URL of my site here. Visit my site. I have added it. If you want to add logo. Any, any image, your logo, any if there is anything you want to add, you can add that. If I want to add my logo from here, I will copy image address. I will paste it here. Now I got my logo over here. I will select it. My logo is added over here. Right? You can change the size small. You can change the size medium. You can change the size large. I will keep it as small. You can again align central, uh, center, left, right align. You can give the numbers, but we don't want to put in anything. But you can give, and again you have multiple formatting options also. But for now, this is going to be my regular signature, so I have kept like this. So once that is done, I will click on save. Now my signature is created. When now I will click on compose. I will write email in email where I want to send. The subject is test. Body is test. Now I will insert my signature. So here, now 
you can see this pin in pin you can see i have added my irregular signature that's great now you can see my signature has been added into my signature section uh, in the mail signature the same way you can create multiple signatures based on your needs and accordingly while sending an email you can just change your signature now here you you have an option manage signatures when you click on manage signatures you go here again in this section you can again click on create new and create new, uh, your different signature based on your needs hope so you are now will be using various signatures and based on your needs based on your audience target audience you can select the signature and send email across now we'll see another google's super feature suppose if you want to send an email for example if you want to apply for a job for example if you want to send uh, any any statements if you want to send any photographs to your friends and family but when you send an email and you forgot to add an attachment or suppose you thought that yes uh, i need to add some more points into respective email but if mail has already been sent then you cannot call the mail back but gmail provides some one of the superior facility of undo the action means you can stop sending an email within 5 to 30 seconds of duration you can means you can undo the send so now let's see how you can undo your email send so click on compose uh, whatever recipient you want to say uh, yeah, email so test i have written test test here what i did i sent but if you see come here you can see the undo message i click on undo yes it got stopped my message sending got cancelled now how you can and again after that i will attract your attachment whichever i want to send it across i have attached my attachment now i will send again i want to cancel i want to add anything i can do and do see my email sending got cancelled now how you can achieve this you need to go to settings click on see all settings and we have an option of undo send it say it says that send cancellation period 5 seconds to 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 second maximum standard i should suggest you or i would suggest you that should be 30 seconds because sometimes what happens immediately because of the network speed or any other issues you won't get that pop up properly or any other because of some technical issues so better you keep 30 seconds time and you can do the respective email send as undo means you can cancel that send and uh, by modifying you can whatever you want to do any modifications you can accordingly do your respective modifications and send it to your user hope so you like the feature thank you friends now we will see another google's powerful feature of smart compose so what is smart compose is means uh google has built uh, built up one kind of feature where in uh, some predictive sentences for example how are you how do you do so such kind of sentences we generally use in terms of when we ask anyone or uh, in email so such kind of uh, predefined auto suggestive uh, sentences uh, when we write an email so automatically such kind of sentences gets auto populated into our uh, email so now let's see how that works for example if i click on compose uh, and i come i write subject hello now when you write email body for example hi friend see how are you can you see this how are you this is an automated suggestion that is called as smart compose so you need not to type are you at question mark so here we are you just need to simply hit the tab button on your keyboard how are you it is automatically gets typed so google provides this kind of smart suggestion for many of the sentences which generally people do type for example how are you uh, good morning good evening 
such kind of say for example good good to hear from you good morning now it is not coming in but generally uh, this comes good to hear from you so such kind of sentences when you write an email so you will see you will automatically get this pre populated suggestion that is called as smart compose feature while writing an email so this is one of the best feature which you can use in your email writing now let's see one of the again finest feature which gmail provides to the users that is called as snoozing an email what is snoozing an email snoozing an email helps you to receive that email at some other point of time in your inbox now for example this email is there uh, and this email has some action points for you for example bill payments examination schedule you can say follow up to the respective party or respective recipient so in that case what you need to do you need to snooze an email and when you snooze that is respective email that's once you perform that action however if you receive that email today now or in the morning afternoon time evening time whenever you see this whenever you will get so you have an option to receive that email on the respective action taken day as a fresh email so when you snooze, snooze this email you can see the snooze option is available here when you snooze this you get an option to receive that email into your inbox at a future date or future time so you can get that mail today if i see if i click monday 6 pm tomorrow 8 am later this week on wednesday 8 am this weekend probably sunday 8 pm next week or even you can pick the date from the calendar also so now what i'll just i'll do i'll click and uh, will schedule on later today if i click on later today see the mail has been removed from your inbox now i will receive that email in my inbox at 6 o'clock so this is how snooze an email works now we'll see uh, google is coming up with one of the superior feature which can be useful for us that is schedule an event how you can do this basically why we need this feature for example you are interacting to your students you are interacting to your clients or the particular you can say you have you do schedule one to one meetings with your respective uh, clients coaches students so in this case if your email communication is going on and you decided to meet up online on a specific day uh, in future or any time you prefers to so i have this email chain and related to this discussion for example uh, portfolio um, discussion a doctor to patient discussion so accordingly what they will do create an event to discuss and meet to meet and discuss the respective topic which they are communicating via email chat now i have an option here when i clicked on this event create an event so i got, i got this option see here how i get create an event upon clicking on this create an event i got this window open here you can see that email subject line is already over here respective date and time based on communication whatever you want to do for I have scheduled for it March. I have selected the date from what time I am discussing. Uh, so you can select this as as a regular calendar event. You can do and modify the respective timings. You can do. Uh, you can add Google Meet video conferencing links over there and see your respective email communication details are listed below. So once this is fine, once you are done with this particular communication, uh, once you are done with the text editing. You can add text. I have selected the person where and I was uh, discussing. So I selected. Would you like to send an invitation email to Google Calendar guest? Yes. I have saved it. The respective event has been created for that email, and communication is also sent to the party where I was discussing the topic with, or the communication was going on for. So these are the best. features which gmail provides to us so hope so friends you must have liked this particular list of compiled features for you and uh, happily you must have enjoyed uh, watching this video hope so this tricks will help you in your day to day life 
while using Gmail. So if you have liked the video, do subscribe the channel, put your comments into the comment section and don't forget to share this video to your friends and family. Thank you.